This is a Santa Rini earthquake update for the 17th of February 2025. In this update, I'm going to be looking at a big picture. We're going to be looking at overall earthquake earthquake activity over the past few days, which directions it going in, which parts of the crust are moving in which direction, and what seismographs in the area are showing us. This video is based on an article on strikeengine.com, linked to the article in the video description. And in that article, there are links to a page which shows all the sources for all the data that is in the article. So general situation of the uh, earthquakes at the moment, the cumulative energy being released was reducing. It reduced for sort of two, three, four days. But in the last two days, that's reversed and we're starting to see an uptick in the uh, amount of uh, energy being released by the earthquake. So, so that's the overall situation on the energy. Let's have a look at the uh, plate movement. This data is taken from GNSS stations that are in the uh, southern Aegean. We've got one in uh, Eos, Fira, and we've got one in Amorgos. Those are the ones that we're going to be looking at. So generally, what we're seeing is that uh, Fira normally w uh, moves southeasterly, and that has changed over the last 14 days to moving northeasterly and easterly at an accelerated rate. Amorgos is moving west now whereas usually it moves in an easterly direction and um, we've got eos has also changed to a westerly movement instead of going east and then it's usually going south a little bit but it's changed to a um, northerly direction so we've seen quite a lot of um, unusual movement outside the norm in these areas we can look at these uh, stations in a bit more detail again these all these links are in the uh, strike engine article so this is the data that we can see. This is time along the bottom and uh, distance here. So we can see that usually this one is on Santorini 048A station. Usually Santorini is moving in a southerly direction. And we can see over the last uh, 14 days, 20 days, that trend has been reversed to moving in a northerly direction instead of southerly. Looking at east-west, you can see that normally the islands moving in an easterly direction. There was an earthquake swarm back in 2011, 2012. You can see in accelerated easterly movement. And we're seeing that again in uh, with this earthquake swarm that it's accelerating its movement to the east. And then we've got the uh, up and down movement of the island. You see generally 2011, 2012, it moved up. And we're seeing that here, at least at the start of this recent earthquake swarm, but that trend has been reversed over the last few days. If we click on month we can see the actual data points that they've taken for those days so again uh, northerly movement easterly movement and we can see that the over the last 25 days the actual movement is starting to come back down again vertically so that's the Santorini stations next one we've got is Amorgos which is the island to the northwest of Santorini, where a lot of the earthquakes have been happening. It's been, to be fair, the earthquakes, most of them have been happening closer to Amorgos than they have been to Santorini. So you can see on this island, usually it moves south, and we can see a bit of acceleration in its movement south. Usually it moves in an easterly direction. You can see that direction has been reversed over this earthquake swarm period. And generally, the island is increasing in height, and we can see quite a big uptick in the rate that that is increasing in height over the last 15 days. If we zoom in on the this month's data points, we've got a bit of a, a trend here saying that uh, we're moving south. Bit of a trend here to say that we're moving westerly. And a bit of a trend here to say that we're uh, increasing in uh, height at a faster rate than uh, before. So, so if we draw an imaginary line through here, you can see we've got 40 millimeters up, up left on the 30th and we're probably up to 10 24 millimeters so 10 millimeter increase in height in 15 days which is not a little amount um and then the last one is uh, eos island so we can see that normally that island moves in a southerly direction that's been reversed in the last few days if you look at the monthly data we can see that start to move uh northerly and normally the island moves southerly. Uh, East-west, normally it's moving in an easterly direction, but we can see that trend's been reversed. Again, looking at the 
monthly data point that's pretty consistent movement to uh, to the west and then in an upwards direction you can see we've got kind of a trend here not a big one but nevertheless it's something's probably got to be two millimeters perhaps three millimeters over the last 15 days if we look at the trend for that you know on the trend it's quite a big difference but we can see that that island doesn't move up and down quite a lot so I'm not going to say any big movements in EOS, but at the moment it's an uptrend. Um, but the uh, easterly direction, or the westerly direction, I should say, is quite pronounced. But again, that island can show quite big differences in the variance between east and west. So the next few days will tell us if this is a meaningful trend or not. So that's, that's the crust movement. Anyway, uh, other stations in the Aegean, there's more than these. But generally, all the other ones are moving in their trend. There's nothing unusual to see with them. Let's move on to the seismograph data. There are many seismograph stations in the South Aegean. Let's have a look at a quick map here. Again, link in the video description, link in the article. We've got loads of them. This is the area that we're interested in down here. Let's just zoom in on these. The problem that we have here is a lot of these stations are not working on Santorini and another problem we have is the scale that they use the graphs make them very hard to compare against other ones. But nevertheless we're going to choose um, the, be the least of a bad bunch or the best of a bad bunch in Santorini and we're going to compare them to this station here, this station here which is at the heart of the earthquake swarm and we're going to look at Amorgos again. So let's go back to the article. Uh, so we've got TRH-8 station in Santorini. Let's have a butchers of that. The problem here we have is the scale is at 3,000, which will make everything look absolutely massive. So even though the scale is quite big, we can see that it's, at least for the last hour, it's been relatively quiet. And we can see there's activity here, but again, the scale is at 3,000. Really, we want that scale to be at 500 to give us something meaningful. Even little stuff is going to look like something. I think that all this movement that we're detecting here is probably not going to be felt. It's going to be tiny little movements. So generally, I'd say it's quiet on Santorini, at least according to that graph. Moving on to Anafi Island. This is much better. We've got a 500 scale, which gives us something to compare the other ones with. So we can see that Generally, it's quiet. Uh, from 11 o'clock, it was picking up something. You know, there was activity there. We've got a couple of big ones from this morning. Um, but generally, it's quite quiet there. If we come back to Anidros, Anidros Island, this is really the key one. Well, actually, it's even I've included in the article. This is at 500 also. Now, if we can just compare it to the previous one, which is also at 500. Let's open this in a new tab. So this is Anafi Island, same scale as this one, Anidros, but Anidros is at the center of this earthquake swarm. So we can see that there's a lot more activity in Anidros versus Anafi Island. As we would expect, since it's at the center of the earthquake swarm. But considering that the TH, THR8 station in Santorini is registering 3000, which is much more sensitive than the Anidros one, and yet the Anidros seismic station is registering a lot more activity than the one in Santorini. So I'm going to presume that, you know, this, you know, Santorini compared to Anidros is much, much quieter much quieter. Uh, Anafi Island we've just done, Anidros we did. Um, let's have a look at Amorgos quickly. Again another station that uses the old 500 Hertz and you can see how quiet that is versus the Anid Anidros Island. Both using the same scale but you know it's obvious how much difference activity there is between the two. You know Anidros is really where all these where all this activity is happening or at least that station is the closest to the to the place where all this activity is you know focused on so that's the analysis so what is the summary of all this data 
Uh, well, first of all, I've said it before in other updates. I'll say it again in this one. It would be really nice to have the GNSS data, this data, for Anidros Island, considering that is at you know the center of the action. But we don't. So it is what it is. If you know of a place where we can see that GNSS data for Anidros, please feel free to leave a comment below and let me know. Moving on from that, given that the seismic data is almost constant at Anidros Station, again, we'll come back to it here, it's, it's picking up stuff every few minutes. Uh, I'd, start, I'd guess that either the crust in that area is very weak, i.e. it's breaking before the crust can build up a lot of stress to create a large quake, or perhaps we're looking at uh, magma movement close to the surface. And I say that because many of the quakes many of the quakes are quoted as being at uh, very shallow depth only two kilometers uh, depth so are we seeing magma the magma regular constant movement like this could be is an indication of magma it's not 100 percent but it is an indication of magma movement constant activity but it could just be you know a weak crust that's you know crumbling away you know uh, and then basically what I've been saying so far in the article or in the video generally I lean, to, I lean towards Anidros being at the center of anything that's going to happen or might happen in the south of Aegean at the moment it seems the general trend for things to be calming down with regards to what we saw at the top the earthquake activity coming down maybe this is a, a small blip here and we're going to continue seeing it coming down to the normal level at the moment that seems like it could be happening but as i said at the start we've had a 5.1 and a 4.2 earthquake within four minutes of each other this morning and they were both directly under anidros so obviously things need to be monitored it's not over yet um hopefully we'll start getting some gnss data from anidros but i would say you know as i said earlier anything that's going to happen whether it's going to be a bigger earthquake or you know perhaps we get a small little uh, magma extrusion from the uh, crust i think anything's going to be happening very close to an island so that's the video guys that's the update for the saturday earthquake for the uh, 17th of february 2025 if you liked it give it a thumbs up subscribe for it if i do any more updates on it look after yourselves i'll see you again next time